There goes my heart beating. You know what? Doing your homework before a big decision is smart. And that's exactly what we do in medicine. Informed consent isn't extra. It's the baseline. But here's where this comparison falls apart. Researching a car or a house is not the same as understanding medical risk. Medical risk is different, it's layered, and some parts of it aren't easy to sort through on your own. And that's not a judgment call. It's just the nature of how the science works. That's why clinicians exist, not to override your curiosity, but to add the context you shouldn't have to figure out alone. And let's be honest, real research is boring. It's slow, it's controlled groups, long follow-ups, and data that doesn't fit into a 12 second sound clip. That's why you don't see it while you're scrolling on TikTok or hear it as a catchy soundbite on a podcast. Fear is spicier. Going against the grain, even when the grain is accurate, gets more traction. Vaccines cause everything. will travel way faster than, here's solid data showing the benefits outweigh the risks. One goes viral, the other gets ignored. And let me be clear because this part matters. Nobody should fault you for wanting to learn. You are not a conspiracy theorist for being curious. I talk with vaccine hesitant families every week, smart, caring parents who just want clarity. Many end up vaccinating after we walk through vaccines and their questions. Some want to wait a bit and I can work with that. Curiosity is always welcome. The problem is the misinformation, not the parents. When people online call vaccines poison or claim that they cause every condition under the sun, that's not research, that's noise. If you needed your tonsils removed, you wouldn't crowdsource the risk from strangers online. You'd talk to the surgeon who actually does the procedure, knows the complications, knows the benefits, and can guide you with real training. Vaccines work the same way. Real informed consent comes from clinicians who understand both the risks of the vaccine and the risks of the disease. People who have cared for children in NICUs and PICUs with pertussis, HIV meningitis, rotavirus dehydration, RSV complications, the things that never show up in cute graphics. Talking through benefits and risks with someone who has never managed a vaccine preventable illness is not informed consent. And listening to people who say vaccines have zero side effects or people who say they're all harmful misses the point too. Vaccines are a real benefit and risk discussion, not an all or nothing take. If we're going to talk about informed decisions, we also have to talk about informed sources. Where you get your information matters. And because this should be accessible, my vaccine guide is forever free. It was recently updated with common questions, a breakdown of each vaccine's insert, the side effects we actually see in practice, and trusted resources so you can make a truly informed choice. Save and share if you found this helpful and see below for more.